Hi guys, join me as I get ready for the premiere of The Accountant. That's Ben Affleck's new movie, by the way. While I ran my bubble bath, I decided to plaster on a 7th Heaven charcoal mask. That needed to stay on for a few minutes, so I thought I'd tackle my overgrown bits. Couldn't find shaving foam, so I used some Clarins Tonic Bath and Shower Concentrate, which seemed to work just fine. Yeah, so apparently I'm never growing up. Even though I lack the strength to squeeze the product out of the tube, L'Oreal Vitamino Soft Colour Cleanse protects your colour, so it's probably worth the effort. I'm going to try my hardest to look after my new do in its colour, so thought I'd apply my vegan Maria Nila True Soft Mask, or mask, how do you say that? Time to remove the charcoal from my face. That's something I thought I'd never say. I follow up with my beloved Lizelle Cleanse and Polish. And then it's time to rinse off that mask, or mask. Cool, it feels smooth. Just to confirm, that isn't my dirt, but about 40 quid's worth of my new hairdo going down the drain. Awesome. Next up, I smooth some of L'Oreal's Mythic Oil onto my hair. Look how easy that brush is going through my hair. It's a revelation, I tell thee. Blow dry upside down for added volume. Then it's for my usual GHD wave routine. After applying collections primed and ready, I use number seven Instant Radiance Foundation, which really does make you look more radiant. Surprising that. I buffed it in using my new Body Shop brush, which I love. I used Collection's Lasting Perfection Concealer to cover up the bags and those sore looking bits that you get around the nose. I can have more dramatic brows with my dark hair, so I went in on them with this Collection product. I then secured their new cells with Benefit's Gimme Brow. To move away from that potato aesthetic, I use Collections Contour Stick. I use some Bourjois Bronzer to warm up my whole face. Of course I get a big bulging spot just in time for the premiere. Dab to conceal. Then a hint of pink even though apparently redheads should wear peach on their cheeks instead. For the eyes I use the pearly colour from Maybelline's Big Eyes. And next up, the vibrant electric blue. I know this is looking very 80s right now, but please stick with me. Then I lined my eye with Kat Von D's tattoo liner. Can't do much of a flick at the moment because my eyes are really streamy. Couldn't find my eyelash curlers sadly, so it's just some poker straight lashes with my YSL mascara. Oh good, I'm like the before picture in a Botox advert. Horrendous. Makeup Revolution's Vivid Baked Highlighter on all the usual areas. I smoked up the eye some more with Body Shop's Coal. A rare decision, but I decided to go glossy with Collections Deluxe Lip Lacquer in Sparkling Lights. For a bit of movie style glamour, I added these glitzy dangly earrings that are from the Earring Boutique. I nearly said Bon Appetit instead of voila. I really don't want you to eat me, so let's try that again. Uh, voila, and the look is complete. The 
sadly I couldn't wear the dress I wanted to because I ended up getting stuck in it and to get out I had to rip it because there's no one at home to help me. Sad times. So I had to settle for this blue number instead. Now for the vlog segment of this video. Enjoy. So I'm on the red carpet. Ooh, so it works. Oh, do you want to see Ben Affleck behind me? We've got to we've got to walk down the red carpet now. I've got a question here from Get Rained Off. What's the world of social media? Oh, thank you. Look, we've got someone to hold on. Oh, we've got someone to hold on. 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 We've got someone to